We're about to show you how you guys can start a t-shirt printing business from home with only $30. Best of all, you don't need a printer or expensive equipment to do any of this. The possibilities are literally endless. And by the end of this video, you'll know everything you need to start making money by printing t-shirts from home. So whether you decide to take this information and print your own designs to sell online or make custom products for your friends, church, or a small business in your community, watch until the end so we show you the results and let you decide if this is the right path for you. All right, you guys, to get started, you're gonna need some supplies that you could find at home, such as scissors, a lint roller, guarantee you that your mom or your dad has one of these somewhere in their closet. And then we also picked up this very inexpensive press that we found online. Just allows you to do more temperature control. But if you don't have that, you can get away with a basic iron. Now, to transfer the art onto the garments, you're gonna need something called press art sheets. Now, press art sheets are changing the game when it comes to printing from home. Because you could design anything, we print it, ship it to you, and all you gotta do is put it on a press, press it, and you're done. You got a final product that's ready to be shipped out to a customer. But in order to get the best quality press art sheet, you're gonna need good quality art. So we're gonna dive into how to make the best artwork for your production. I know how to use Photoshop. I've been using it for about 15 years now, but for some reason I still go to Canva. So we're just gonna create a design and we're gonna go to logo by clicking uploads, upload file, Nike PNG. And I know we want it to say, you can do it. Add a text box. Get our tagline on there, you can do it. You can do it! We're just gonna scale it up. I'm gonna actually hit this with a little rotation. Red text. I want the Nike logo to go over top of the Y. Three dots, send backwards. You go up to the top, click share. You're gonna click download. You're gonna check this box that says transparent background. Click on that, you want that checked. We're just gonna slide this bar all the way up. Now it's 1500 pixels by 1500 pixels, PNG. If it was JPEG, you won't have a transparent background and that's a whole mess. So PNG. And we're just gonna download and there you go. Okay, you guys, Cody mentioned the importance of exporting as a PNG. And you may be wondering, what's the difference? Well, the main difference is that JPEGs don't allow transparencies in the design. So if you spend a lot of time designing something beautiful and then you export as a JPEG, it's by default gonna give you a white backdrop. Now, when you press it on a shirt, it's gonna look like this, a white background on your design. But if you export as a PNG, it allows you to keep the transparency in your design. This means that it's gonna be pressed exactly how you intended, and it also allows the fibers of the shirt to come through. And now, you may be wondering, once you have your art, where do you actually get these press art sheets? Well, let's take it over to the computer to show you. Now you're gonna to wanna to go to streetcrafter.com as it's here to empower the everyday person to start a t-shirt printing business from home. Now, when it comes to ordering press art supplies, you have two options. You have the bulk sheet, which will allow you to upload various logos and graphics on a two by five sheet. And the second option is single press art sheets, which allow you to order one design, showing you how easy it is for you to just drag, drop, and resize. Now, once you're happy with how it's laid out, you can add to cart and check out. You can do it! You can do it! <laughs> once you cut out your press art sheet, you're ready to go. You're ready to start actually making garments. And for those wondering what equipment do you need to make these products, you can use almost any heating element. We're actually using this very inexpensive press that we found online. Now, start by using a lint roller in order to grab any loose fibers off. Then make a measurement of where you want your design to be on the shirt. We like to keep it even, and a general rule of thumb is four fingers down from the neckline. And make sure it's centered in between the armpit area of the shirt. Now, it's optional to use a Teflon sheet, but it does help prevent the press art sheet from moving underneath when you start to iron it on. Start by pressing the sheet down for a few seconds to let the glue adhere, and then slowly move the iron around to heat up and press the rest of the design. Make sure you use a firm to medium pressure while doing this. Now, press art sheets are cold peeled, so wait a few seconds for it to cool down before you start peeling it off. Yeah, what do you think, Cody? That feels good. Yeah. And right now you may be wondering, how durable are the sheets and how are they made? To answer that question, we brought the apparel scientist, Jeff, into the building. Oh, oh great, yeah. <laughs> Oh, here we go. What's the durability on this? You know, we test it extensively as same or better than vinyl. And it also has a little bit better of a stretch. Yep, most definitely. Anything you could think of in this market, we've been testing the, the wash, has held up the same. Yeah, yeah. He's a t-shirt scientist. <laughs> <laughs> here it is. Okay, yeah, bye. 
So now I want to show you what we went through to complete an order that our friend Enrique needed for his family. Now this was a family reunion and he said that we needed it done by tomorrow. So it gave us 24 hours to complete this and the man Cody was the one to take on the job. It's a family reunion. We don't want to fail their family and I approached this project with that in mind. I'm not trying to be a Grinch this Christmas. Not again. So we started texting about the order and he sent me some designs that were no good, honestly, it's okay. He had good direction and he had good notes, so we'll give him some points there. I sent him font ideas and color schemes and made the mockups using placeit.net so he could understand what the shirts were gonna look like. Using the mockups really helped us decide the placement and the sizes that we were gonna use. After the second mockup, we had approved designs and we we're ready to print. I called him up to get name number and size information, carefully taking notes the whole time, making sure each name goes with each number and everything's right. Before we placed the order of the bulk sheet on streetcrafter.com, I just confirmed all of this with him one more time. Now with four hours left on the clock, we used the t-shirts that we had on hand, which were the Bella Canvas 3001s. Those are all reliable, they'll work for you every time. We were able to get the film the same day as well, and we just started cutting and making the shirts right away. Now everything was going swimmingly, until Enrique showed up and we started talking. He's telling me about being a cool uncle. I'm telling him about having a Red Rider BB gun to shoot my brother in the eye. But anyway, he ended up distracting me and I swapped the wrong birth year on grandpa's shirt. Instead of the birth year being 1965, we gave him 15. Now there's no way he's 108 years old, so this shirt's not gonna work. So we, we have an extra Tinoco? I think we do. Yeah, let me, let me repress it. Oh. How was this experience for you? <laughs> Nerve wracking, actually really easy, especially considering the fact that it was last minute. But we got it done, we got it done. We found solutions to everything we got. Yeah. And when he sent me the video of his family wearing the shirts, I knew it was worth it. it made me so happy to be able to deliver this order. Now for this 15 shirt order, we charged the following. $300 for labor and materials, plus a $35 art fee, as we actually had to create art originally ourselves. It took us some time and you have to get compensated for it. Bringing our total invoice over to $335. This is what we charged him for this production. Now, what we spent and how much it actually cost us to produce was the following. $90 for t-shirt blanks, $45 for press art sheets, which brought our total cost to $135 for us to make this order. That means that our total take home profit was $200. And this is $200 for essentially two hours of labor. We made out great. And Enrique also saved money because if he would have gone to a print shop, they would have charged him $650 for this order. You see, everybody wins when you're a street crafter. Now, after seeing the joy of Enrique and his family receiving the products, I wanted my family to experience the joy of entrepreneurship. You know, because I always tell them what we do, but they don't really get it. So I brought my niece and my nephew, as well as my two-year-old daughter, into the studio to make some products with us. Now the mission of this channel from day one has been to make entrepreneurship accessible to the world. So seeing my daughter and my nephew in the studio today making their own products from their idea to the execution brought this to a full circle for me. Because eight years ago when I started this channel, it wasn't possible to make quality products from home like this. But this year, I wanna show you guys that you have everything you need. And we launched streetcrafter.com to help by bringing you the best supplies to start a t-shirt printing business from home. So make sure you check out the full offering and we have free resources also available through the links down below. Now we have a lot of exciting things happening in the works throughout this channel, throughout this series. One of my most favorite is in partnering with youth programs to keep kids off the streets and help them be successful through entrepreneurship. Cause I remember a time when this wasn't available and it wasn't as easy and you can get into a lot of trouble. So I wanna make sure that we're helping the next generation succeed. So make sure you guys subscribe to be notified of those latest initiatives and projects and check out this video here if you'd like to start a fully labeled brand using somebody else's service.